Ike, for a long time, was a very underrated in the cast of Project Plus. Even in Project M 3.6, when Ike was considered a mid-tier character, I always thought he was better than that. However, back during those days, there were more apparent good and great characters in the meta, where certain characters weren't receiving credit for their time. Donkey Kong is a prime example of this, where he was seen as a low tier and then over time people were proven wrong on where Donkey Kong was placed in the meta. Because the cast is so close viability-wise, this means that every character in Project Plus is good on some level and can be played in tournament. I thought about making this video for a while, and with the most recent Project Plus tier list dropping, basically reinforcing my impressions on Ike, here's what the P Plus backroom had to say about him. Even though Ike received few significant changes in Project Plus, the community has only recently begun to recognize the strength in his kit. Players like MV Pikmon and many more have earned top 8 placements in several events over the past few years, including even the bigger Balk, Undertow, Blacklisted 6, and Jailbreak. Ike is now considered consistently one of the best heavies in the game due to his burst movement options out of quick draw combined with his huge normals and also resulting in his rise to 11 spots on the tier list. Ike in the past wasn't really seen a lot representation wise so despite being a strong character on paper he was not seen in many super majors or even top 8s. He was a relatively uncommon character. But Ike's rise in the meta would mainly be because of the Project Plus power creep. With the release of P Plus when certain characters eventually got nerfed like Snake and Game & Watch did for example. This allowed other characters in the meta to rise up to the occasion and get more viability and visibility in the meta and thus can be seen a lot more. Other characters that fill this niche being Zero Suit Samus to an extent and even Bowser after he received many buffs as well. Ike on the other hand didn't receive many changes when he transitioned to P+, showing how strong he just was in general, showing that he was also possibly an underrated character previously in the past. Compared to the official iterations of Ike in Smash, he's very unique. He still is a hard hitting character with a long sword, he doesn't play like a traditional heavy character. Normally characters that are heavy are extremely slow and compensate this with more KO power. Ike is known for his extremely fast quote unquote burst options, having aerials that hit extremely hard and take up a lot of space, like his forward air. Already on paper, Ike has a lot of positive aspects to his character archetype. A common negative though for characters in Smash is lacking range. Ike doesn't have this issue. While he doesn't necessarily have a projectile, he has a sword that shuts down a lot of characters that have range issues. This is why I complain about the Ness Ike matchup all the time. Ike also has extremely underrated grabs. His grabs are really fast and have a lot of utility to them. Up throw is a train grab throw on fast fallers. Back throw is great for throwing opponents off stage and leads into his other conversions and forward throw is also an amazing throw as well. Also in turn, his jab is one of his best tools in his kit, being incredibly fast and a great setup to his other combos and conversions. It's a really good jab. You can't forget his biggest change to his entire moveset, being the fact that you can cancel his side B quick draw when using it. Yes, that means when you quick draw, you can wave dash out of it. This makes quick draw one of Ike's best tools in his moveset, which means you can have a crazy amount of options out of the move. You can quick draw, wave dash, and grab people. You can quick draw and Dacus. You can quick draw, wave dash, and jab. You can quick draw and wall jump. What the f***? You can quick draw and quick draw again if you really want to. Think of it as a giant oasis for Ike. It's just his best bread and butter tool that is in his kit now. His other special moves being he has a standard counter for his down B being actually kind of decent KO power wise. His eruption is an effective edge guarding tool functioning similar to Roy's flare blade as it inflicts high vertical knockback when charged at any stage. It also can one hit KO when fully charged and it repels any opponent at a semi spike angle at a very fast speed. And it does have a tiny amount amount of heavy armor on it so you can sponge hits while using it. His smash attacks are insanely strong, his down smash more specifically you can actually cancel the second hit of the move which is kind of neat. His forward smash pretty much hits like a monster truck. Despite being faster compared to most heavy characters, his major downsides are that his grounded moves are considered pretty slow. Some of his moves have a bit more startup and end lag and also the fact he is a tall and heavy character. He can get comboed easily depending on the matchup. And he has a predictable recovery that can be intercepted pretty easy if you know what he's going to do. But again, that depends on the stage and the matchup. Ike does get more recovery options depending on what stage he's on and if they have walls on the side. But in conclusion though, Ike is still a very good character. He has risen significantly in the meta due to other characters being nerfed and thus Ike has risen heavily 
in the past couple years. He is considered a A plus character right now, but honestly, I think Ike has a lot of potential to even potentially win a super major down the road. I think he's a really underrated character, even in the past, and I still somewhat feel that way to this day. I think he could go up even higher if more people start to play the character. Alright, you guys, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys like this content, I upload content early on Patreon, so if you guys want to get content early, there will be a Patreon down below, and also you can get access to the Discord as well. I stream during the weekend, so if you guys want to come through on those weekend streams, come through on those weekend streams. You guys have a good one. Peace out, and have a good one.